I had a great experience once where I went to go see REM in Madison Square Garden with a girlfriend. And we're in the, she, her father was a record producer. So we were able to get backstage passes or something. And we were riding up in the huge freight elevator where they bring the equipment up. And we're in the elevator. Who should be standing in front of us is Elvis Costello. Wow. There's maybe like three other people there. There's us and Elvis Costello. And I'm like, I say to her, we should talk to him and tell him your name's Allison. <laughs> but she tried to get me to shut up, shut up. So I did not exactly talk to Elvis Costello, though he was standing there staring at him. What else have I seen? I've seen a lot of Grateful Dead shows. I saw the Who show right after all those kids were trampled in Cincinnati, which dates me back in Buffalo. And it was the next day and they came out and it was definitely a lot of electricity and a lot of weird vibes going on because kids had just died the day before and yet they were coming out and playing again. And they had a lot of aggression in the way. First of all, they're an aggressive band and they destroy their own instruments, but they were really playing out there with a huge amount of aggression. It was a fantastic concert. And what else have I seen that's great? I've seen a couple of Bruce Springsteen shows where he always puts out a great show. I was actually in a band in New York. I thought the professor and Marianne, we did a couple of covers, but we wrote original song. And uh, we played oh, that's the club scene in New York for a very short while. And then I got a night job working at a newspaper and that's my journalism career began. <laughs> <laughs>